Nobody said it would be easy. Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm gonna do a review on the third studio album of the band Coldplay, X and Y, released in 2005. We all know that Coldplay always experiment with new musical styles and ideas. In Parachutes, there's a soft but groovy tone to it. In A Rush of Blood to the Head, the band took more risks to stick with the alternative rock genre, which resulted in a lot of great tunes. The first track is properly titled Square One. From the top of the Its humble and soft beginning sets up a futuristic atmosphere, and the drums and the guitars on this song are quite impressive, infused with synthesizers. This opening track feels like waking up to a dystopian future world where everything was automatic and electronic. It was about cracking puzzles and solving riddles, and it all ultimately goes back to Chris Martin himself. It's a pretty nice song, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. Next is What If. What if I got it wrong? A small ballad that asks the same question over and over again. What if? This song feels trite for Chris Martin and it feels like a message to Gwyneth Paltrow, his wife back then. Although it's still a decent song, it doesn't stand out to me. It's just bland and cheesy. I'm giving this song a 6 out of 10. Jumping right back on the horse, track 3 is White Shadows. When I was a young boy, I tried to listen. Which is an amplified version of Square One. It sounds even harder. It sounds more industrial. It sounds more pessimistic and melancholic in an honest and firm way. Johnny Buckland did his best on this track, which makes this song underrated. This U2 and Prince infused song really rocked hard for a band like Coldplay. And I surprisingly enjoy this one too. I'm giving the up-tempo, fast, and hard-hitting song White Shadows an 8 out of 10. Then it's the legendary Fix You. When you try your best but you don't succeed. Cheesy title, but truly powerful music. The only flaw to this song is its lyrics. Really corny and cheesy. It's like those crappy motivational quotes for girls who are immature but yet drunk in love. But no offense. Because this is an epic song, an immensely emotional tearjerker that melts your heart. See a down your face. Sad and forlorn piano songs, organs, exploding into a glass-shattering harmony of cries. People say this song makes people cry, and it's true. I'm giving Fix You a generous 9 to a 10 out of 10. Cold Wind Blows as it transitions to the next song, Talk. Oh brother, I can't, I can't get through. I've been trying hard to reach you cause I don't know what to do. Which is clearly about communication. This craft work inspired tune sounds even more futuristic and spectral and astronomical. The guitars on this thing lingers between lines and lines and it acts like backup vocals, which is wonderful. But again, the lyrics are a bit underwhelming, but still, I'm giving this underrated song Talk a 9 out of 10. Up next is the title track X and Y. With a cool zigzagging bass line covered with some sloppy vocals about how Chris Martin wanted to repair relationships. The first half of the song is corny and weird. It has a good bass line, but the vocals fall flat. In contrast, 
Coldplay let it go on the second half, ending the song on a beautiful full stop. Once again, Chris's falsetto shines brightly on the second half. Surprisingly sweet and beautiful lyrics too. You and me are I'm giving this one a 7 out of 10. Then the band it took you to space on the track Speed of Sound. Which has a strange resemblance with Clocks because of its clear piano riffs and expressive vocals. Even the line Planets are moving in the speed of light shows us that this song is astronomical. Yet it feels a bit apocalyptic. It feels like it's reaching transcendence beyond humanity. But I prefer Clocks over this one because this one is less danceable and it lacks a strong hook. But nonetheless, it sounds gorgeous. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. Then here we are, the second half of the album. First off with a message. Another ballad about love, like Warning Signs, except it's actually better than Warning Signs, because it's, it's more deep and it feels traumatic. I also like the simplicity of the song, how it's presented is satisfying to the ears. The guitar chords are memorable and lovely. I'm giving this song an 8 out of 10. Over to Low, sharing the same title with the David Bowie album. See the world in black and white. But the song itself doesn't stand out to me at all. It's an unsuccessful mix of White Shadows and some other exciting rock songs. It's not memorable too. I just feel like the band didn't want to put too much effort into writing the song, but they put it in the record anyways. I'm giving Low a 6 out of 10. Then it's the hardest part, where Chris Martin explains more life lessons in a simple piano song. The hardest part is letting go, not taking part. Chris Martins explains more and sings. I don't hate the song, but it's just a bit lacking. It feels like the band made the song just to explain the concept. Like, when I listen to this song, I ask myself, how should I react to it? Wow, I understand now. Or, or is it, man, it's a great song, let's dance to it. It's just cringe-worthy in the most harmless and colorless way. The song had good intentions, but it's just, eh. I'm giving this one a 6 out of 10. However, the next one, Swallowed in the Sea, is something to remember. You put me on the line, hung me out to dry. A slow, simple, and somewhat calm ballad that sets up a certain atmosphere. The lyrics are abstract and cryptic. It's either brilliant or it's stupid. You decide. This is also, in my opinion, one of the most underrated Coldplay songs of all times. I'm giving this one an 8 out of 10. Over to Twisted Logic. Is supposed to be the last track, but they made another track, Till Kingdom Comes, just in case if the listeners expect an encore. The music in this song, Twisted Logic, is really powerful and strong, like Amsterdam. It feels apocalyptic, in a sunlight piercing through the dark clouds kind of way. It gives hope ultimately. And the song title is pretty self-explanatory. The lyrics may be a bit stupid to you, but it's Twisted Logic, so there's that. And the small little church song at the end wrapped up the album. Still my heart and hold my tongue. I'm giving Twisted Logic an 8 until Kingdom comes a 7. I still wish that Twisted Logic is the last track of the album. Overall, it's the band sticking with a new style they come up with. It's futuristic, it's industrial, it's dystopian. It's apocalyptic in a hopeful way, and it's out of the world. 
The band really made some great tunes using this style, but they really stuck with this style so tightly that it feels somewhat repetitive. It almost feels like U2's war, sticking with a style and doing it to death. However, I don't hate this album, and I think this album is very underrated. But it has some really sappy, sloppy, cheesy love songs that no one really cares. But there are also some songs that are successful at being good and stays that way. So, Pitchfork, come on, man. The worst song is What If and the best is Fix You. I'm giving X and Y an 8 out of 10. So, have you listened to Coldplay's X and Y? From 1 to 10, how much would you rate it? Like if you'd like, and subscribe if you want more.